Lovelies, it's Gretchen. Welcome back to my channel. As you can probably already tell from the title of today's video, I am very excited because today I am going to be bringing you all a septum jewelry try on courtesy of our friends at Ofer. I absolutely love working with Ofer so much. I've worked with them numerous times in the past and I absolutely love it when they reach out to me and they're like, hey, want to work together again? I'm like, absolutely, because their pieces are always so gorgeous. And as always, Ofer did not disappoint with the pieces that they sent me. This time Ofer has sent me nine pieces of septum jewelry which absolutely love. No hate to you know Helix Pearsons or anything like that but I have always said if I could only keep one Pearson it would be my septum. Ofer thank you so much for sponsoring today's video and for sending me these amazing pieces to showcase with the community. Like I said every single thing that I'm going to be showing you all today is a septum piece however there is one particular one that I think I might actually put in my daith doth. Boy that's a throwback to when I used to say both pronunciations but there's there's one in particular here i've been wanting to change that pearson for a long while i've had the same jewelry in there well you can probably go back in my old videos and see how long i've had this piece in there it's this like clear and pink gem jewelry i have not changed it since it's been in there but there is one that Ofer sent me that I honestly think would look really cool. Now I don't know if I'm going to end up changing it on camera today because as we've seen before, I haven't had good luck with changing my date doth on camera. In fact, many years ago I had to re-pierce it off camera because I couldn't get it in. So I think I'll still try it in my septum because you know, give it a good cleaning and everything like that. But I think there might be one that eventually gets swapped out. In here it's probably gonna be cute in the septum too but I just the second I saw it I'm like ooh, that could work I, that could work again I've been wanting to change this one out for God knows how long I just haven't because I haven't found anything that I really like this one though and I'll save it for last I'll save that one specifically for last for that reason but like I said Ofer sent me nine pieces of septum jewelry I cannot wait to try all these on for you I do love how whenever Ofer sends me something it ranges anywhere from being like this super like over-the-top detailed piece to something very simple and basic Ofer has gotten to know me and they know I like my basics I have just the plainest hoops in my nostril and in my septum that you could imagine so I appreciate that they kind of stick with some basics too but I also appreciate when they break me out of my comfort zone and there's one piece in here that legit looks like something I would wear all the time in fact once I start trying things on I might decide to keep it in and as always I absolutely love Ofer's packaging because it's not like a seasonal thing right now so there's no special seasonal packaging they stick with their pretty sleek and classic navy blue outer sleeve and inside is the actual plastic piece that holds your jewelry and it holds it nicely in place once you pull it out of the sleeve you just pop this open and there's your jewelry right there absolutely love their packaging all right so let's start with some of the more detailed pieces so the first one that caught my eye is this absolutely gorgeous butterfly it's got colors of purple pink a little dash of yellow this particular butterfly it's like solid on one wing but then you can kind of see through the gems on the other wing and I really like how that's designed for this particular piece I really like the purples as well as the pinks though that pink is like very purpley so it's just like a lighter shade it's like lavender I think this piece is gorgeous I do appreciate that it's a bigger diameter because that is a bigger detailed piece at the bottom so even though the diameter is bigger it's still gonna hug your nose because of how big that butterfly is. Next is a second butterfly. Now this one is pretty interesting. There's no color to it. However, I'm getting like feel of like flames on one of the wings. So it's very similar to the other butterfly where like the wings are different in how they're styled. So this butterfly is no different. It is entirely silver. So on one wing, it just looks like a standard, you know, butterfly wing. But on the other one, it kind of looks like there are flames coming up from it. I think that's kind of a pretty cool design idea. Again, this butterfly is a bigger piece. The diameter is bigger, but because of where that butterfly sits on the jewelry, it's probably going to hug your nose a little bit more. Next up is this gorgeous rose themed one. There are rose buds on it as well as leaves that kind of go around the base of the jewelry. Now this one doesn't have a big piece kind of sitting in the middle like the butterflies do. So this one is gonna hang a little bit lower on your nose because the diameter is bigger. But if you're like me, I typically prefer 
my septum rings to hang lower. I know the one I have in right now is hugging my nose pretty tight, but preferably I like to stick with ones that hang a little bit lower. This one in particular gives me like, well, now that I've read Akatar, kind of gives me Akatar vibes, but it also gives me Beauty and the Beast vibes because of the roses. Next, we have this pretty fun card based one. So it's got this little ace of hearts card in the very center of it, kind of like where the butterfly sat on theirs. Now I will say this diameter is smaller. So this one is going to hug your nose tightly. I will be honest. I don't know if this one is going to actually fit in my nose because just based on where that card is, that diameter is very small. And because of that card, it's probably going to push on my nose. We'll see when I try it on, but it's very cute and it's simple enough, but with a little bit of just extra flair to it. Now this next one is pretty simple, but I absolutely love the design of it because even though it is simple, it just adds something extra compared to a regular segment hoop. And so this one has moon phases on it. Very center, you have like a full moon and then you have two crescent moons on the side. And I just like how that's stylized together. It's very cute. It is a smaller diameter compared to some of the other ones, but because the moons don't sit up as high as the butterflies or the card do, I don't think it's gonna cause any kind of of hindrance to where it sits on your nose. Next up, we have this absolutely gorgeous, just it looks like a regular segment hoop, but around the base of it, so like where it's gonna hug your nose, you just have all these gems that make up the color of the rainbow. It's got a clear stone in there. It's got a pink one in there, but it does have all the colors of the rainbow, plus like some pastels to it. And I think that is so pretty. It's like subtle, but still absolutely stunning. So it's not like wham, bam in your face, but I just love the colors. They're absolutely gorgeous. This next one is the only one that has a dangle on it. Sometimes Ofer likes to send me pieces that have like a little tiny part that'll dangle down from it. This is the only one, but I love how this one looks. So this one is a smaller diameter, but not too small where it's gonna like sit snugly on your nose. And on either side of the bottom part of the hoop are like lightning bolts. And then in the middle the part that hangs down looks like a little, a little starburst, a little sunburst with a clear gem in the middle. And again, that dangle so that will sit below your nose and kind of wiggle about. I think this is gorgeous. I think this is a lot of fun. Sometimes I worry because of my Filtrum Pearson, you know, if these types of jewelries are gonna hinder it at all, but I haven't found it to be too big of a problem. All right, so this next one is the one that I can see myself wearing pretty much every day because it looks like a regular segment hoop segment ring, but it's just a little bit thicker at the bottom. So you have this one that just looks like a basic hoop that you would wear, but again, it's thicker at the bottom. It is a kind of smaller diameter, so it might hug your nose or it might hang just a little bit lower. It's not gonna be a, a bigger one where it's got a lot of room in there, but this is one that I could see myself wearing every single day. And now finally, we get to the piece that I can see myself putting in my day, and that is this piece right here. So this is in the shape of a star or part of it. It's missing one little section that you would see in a star, but that's the part that would go in your nose or go in your piercing. This is the only one that is not a hoop, so it doesn't have a curved part at the top that like goes through the actual piercing. It is a straight bar, which is why I'm feeling it for my date? I don't know. I, there's something about it that, that I really want to put in that piercing. And again, not going to try that on camera. Might need some extra pair of hands to help me with this. But for some reason, I am just feeling it in, in my ear as opposed to my nose. But I'm still going to try it on my septum. Got cleaning implements that if I decide to put it there. But I don't know. There's just something saying... Now's a good time to swap your jewelry. So those are all the septum pieces that Ofer sent me. Again, special, special thank you to our friends over at Ofer for sponsoring this video and for sending me these wonderful pieces to showcase for you all. I absolutely love all of them. Let me know in the comments below which piece was your favorite. Also, sound off if I should change my piercing over here. Should I? Should I do it? Should I put that star one over here? Or if you think any of the other ones would work over here, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are. Because again, I am leaning toward the star. There's just something about the, the like size of it, the, the design of it, the layout of it that I feel would work over there. Let me know in the comments below. If you would like to order anything from Ofer yourself, be sure to check the description below where you can check out my coupon code and save yourself some money. And as always, if any of these pieces are of interest to you, I will directly link all of them in the description as well. And again, Ofer, thank you so much for working with me. But that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to go down there, hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so YouTube will let you know when I upload next. But until next time.
Bye, lovelies.